If you're tired of seeing the same side hustle ideas that don't really make money, I found five legit ways to make extra cash that I guarantee you've never heard about. Best yet, you can start these with just a few hours a week or grow them into full-time careers making six figures a year. We're talking the weirdest side hustle ideas today on Let's Talk Money. Beat day. Make money. Make your money work for Creating you. the financial future you deserve. Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel. I want to send a special shout out to all you in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. Now, if you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, spend just five minutes online looking for side hustle ideas and you're going to find hundreds of ways to make money. From filling out surveys to babysitting and all the online ideas, yes, even starting a YouTube channel. But all those have been done to death. I'm not saying you can't make money with some of these, but who wants to be making two bucks an hour filling out surveys? So I set out to find the weirdest, coolest ways to make extra cash is side hustle ideas that not only will make you money, but ones with very little competition because hardly anyone is doing them. In this video, I'll show you the five weirdest side hustle ideas that actually make money. I'll show you how to get started and how much you can make. As a bonus, I've negotiated with Bluehost to help you launch your first website. With the link in the video description below, you'll not only get your site online for less than $3 a month, but I will personally set it up for you and help you get started. So look for that link below to see how you can get online and get started. Our first side hustle idea is my wife's favorite, starting a private wine label. Nation, having a family wine label no longer means owning 50 acres in the south of France anymore. Trader Joe's has its own wine label and has sold over 50 million cases without ever having to stomp a single grape. Starting your own private label wine brand means partnering with a winery to grow and then bottle your wine. Then you market it online or sell directly to stores. And private label brands are estimated to be just 5% of the US market, but could reach over 20% over the next decade. That's a $62 billion market in the United States alone. And setting this up is surprisingly easy. You first decide what types of wine you want to sell. Yeah, it helps to know a little bit of something about wine. Then you find a winery, and there are lots of these set up specifically to help people start their own private label. For example, the Wine Foundry in California will help you customize your blend, including types of grapes, vintage, and the mix. It's going to source the vineyards, process your wine, and then help you ship it. Next, you design your label and a backstory, you know, something to make your wine distinct. You know, how your poor great-great-grandmother came over from the old country clutching that single vine in her arms. You'll need a wholesaler's permit and licenses, which most wineries are going to help you fill out the paperwork for these. Once you've got this initial setup, all that's left is to start marketing. And that's where your website comes in, sharing your story and drawing people in from Google search or, or other social sites for those online sales. You can sell online or direct wholesale to stores. Now this is one of the more expensive side hustles we'll cover with startup costs ranging from 10,000 and higher, but that's going to include your first few dozen cases to sell and all the legal stuff, which is a one-time thing. It takes about six months to fully get this going, but it can easily be making tens of thousands a month. Our next side hustle idea is getting ordained and conducting wedding ceremonies. There are more than 2.4 million weddings every year in the US alone and at an average $22,000 spent on each, that's a $52 billion market with fees for officiating starting at $300. And even better with this one, you can bundle your services. So offer to provide multiple services like DJing, which starts at $1,000 or, or cater the reception. The money is there. You just need to know how to get it. Getting started means checking with your local county clerk for rules on officiating ceremonies. In some states, you'll need to register. Uh, some will recognize those online ordained certificates, while others you might need to take a local course. Remember though, you're performing a legal marriage and that's gonna affect this couple's insurance, home ownership, taxes, a lot of things in their life. So take the time to do this right. For example, New York recognizes online ordained officials, though you still have to register with the New York Marriage Bureau and pay a $15 filing fee. Marketing for this one is gonna be one of the easiest of our five side hustle ideas because it's all local, which, which means you can really dominate Google for those local Local searches. You'll learn how to conduct a wedding, meet with the couples to plan and rehearse. The average fee for a wedding official is between three and five hundred dollars and takes all of about five hours for planning and the ceremony. Offer a few of these other services though and this can easily be into a few grand a month. This next side hustle idea is totally digital and the easiest to set up becoming an online private investigator. Now there are a couple of ways you can take this so I just want to give you some ideas here. And first is that traditional idea of digging into someone's online digital life, so kind of like a private eye. 
Other options would be something like a LinkedIn recruiter for small businesses or a digital reputation consultant. There are more than 575 million registered users and 260 million of those say they use the online career platform LinkedIn regularly each month. More than 90% of recruiters say they use LinkedIn regularly, but that premium access to review profiles and connect with people can cost between $30 to $100 a month. That's where you come in though as a recruiter, offering to do that research work for multiple clients using your one premium membership. As a LinkedIn recruiter, you'll search for qualified candidates on the platform and then dig into their profile. You'll check out their past jobs, experience, and even contact references. You can even use the site to verify some of the other information you see in their other social profiles like Facebook and Instagram. As an online private detective, you'll research people on the web and across social media. You'll set up dummy accounts on Facebook to friend people and then track what they post. You might research a client to see what comes up in a Google search and then help them manage their online reputation. This is probably the easiest to set up of the five. All you need is a website and marketing for your services and then to set up a process for what you're gonna do. Online detectives can make an average of $51,000 a year or about 35 bucks an hour. And this is one you can easily do in five or 10 hours a week in your free time. Next here is gonna be more of a business than a side hustle, growing marijuana legally. Now I wanna emphasize that last word here. Okay, laws are different in each state, but almost every state with legalized marijuana allows some form of home cultivation. That still might not make it legal to sell though, so we're gonna be talking about setting up a legit commercial grow operation, and if you wanna use some of this information to just grow a few plants in your basement, well, that's your decision. The biggest decision you'll have to make here is growing indoor or an outdoor operation. Outdoor greenhouses are cheaper at about half the cost of a warehouse operation, but indoor grows give you better control over your product and security is easier. Still, greenhouse operations can grow a pound of weed for just $50 versus an average of about $300 per pound in a warehouse. Now, you can make up those costs though with some quality indoor product. Uh, wholesale prices start at almost $700 a pound and up to $1,600 a pound for indoor grows while greenhouse weed is only getting about $350 a pound in Washington. All this is gonna depend on where you live though. Uh, for example, California growers get more than $1,000 a pound and prices above 4,000 in parts of the Northeast. You'll also need to decide on growing from seeds, which is the cheaper option, or plant clones, which can cost upwards of 10 to $15 each, but are gonna get you started faster. Of course, state compliance and that paperwork are gonna be a big step, but a lot of times the local growers association will have staff on hand that can help. Hey, this is a $20 billion industry, so you gotta expect some hoops to jump through. Now for marketing, this is probably the only side hustle of the five where you really don't need a website as much since, since you're only gonna be able to sell to approved retail stores in your state. Probably the weirdest side hustle I've ever seen here, rent a friend. Now this actually isn't as seedy as it seems. Uh, there are lots of reasons why people might wanna rent a friend, and it's not just for the terminally shy. Examples might include yeah, hiring someone to be a friend for seniors or disabled loved ones. You've got your classic wingman and just going out to do the things you don't wanna do alone. Nation, in our new lockdown world, this is a huge market and it can be all done virtually, organizing groups and chats, uh, anything to provide that personal connection. There are already websites you can work through or just set up your own. Costs range from $15 to $50 an hour with the friend receiving most of that. So, so you can easily be making 25 plus an hour doing this. This is another side hustle idea. You can bend to your own schedule and work as many or as few hours a week as you want. Click on the video to the right for a free five video series on starting a website. Everything you need to know to get started and make more money. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.